I went, mm. got him. That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. If that's a trout, that is a freaking stud. I think that might be a redfish. Get away from the rocks, dude. Good morning, y'all. I am out here today pre-fishing for a tournament. We got spanking the specs coming up tomorrow. The deal is a three trout stringer. None of them can be over 24 inches. So we're just gonna be scouting around, hopefully figure out a good pattern for tomorrow morning. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see what we catch. The lure we're gonna start off throwing this morning is the Southern Salt Hoodwink. This is our Cajun pepper color. I will link those down below you can pick those up online at southern salt bay company or if you're local to mississippi alabama they're available at cedar swamp but I'm seeing a lot of pogies in this channel along these rocks we might be able to pick up some fish um probably some flounder as well as speckled trout but if we're not finding them around this channel we're gonna move out and uh and fish some rocks a little bit further south all right, y'all, we just hooked up on our first fish. My camera was off, and that is a decent speckled trout. That is a really good speckled trout. All right, come here, dude. First fish of the morning. And it is a doggone decent one, sitting around 20 inches or so. Y'all, check that girl out right there. On the Cajun pepper hoodwink. That is a solid three pound fish or so. I mean, super fat, probably only sitting around 19 inches or so, but very, very healthy fish. All right, girl, I appreciate it. Might see you tomorrow. So we started up there fishing around the mouth real close to the boat ramp and a lot of bait in the area, but just no bites. And the water's super clear. I knew out here the water would be a little bit dirtier which would blend that bait in a little bit better with everything else. And uh, not long after fishing these rock jetties right here, hooked up on that trout. So we're just gonna keep on moving along, fanning out, and uh, see if we can catch some more. Mm -hmm. That was a shrimp jumping across the top of the water. Someone, mm. got him. That's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. If that's a trout, that is a freaking stud. I think that might be a redfish. Get away from the rocks, dude. Let me see you one time. Come here. What do we got? What do we got? Ah! It's not running like a... Uh, is that a sheep's head? Did we just catch a dog on sheep's head on a hoodwink? Uh-uh. No way, dude. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's a freaking stud sheep's head. What is going on? Unfreaking believable. Come here, dude. Come here. Oh my God. What? What? <laughs> Unfreaking real. That is insane, dude. Never would I would have thought that I would have caught a stud sheep's head on a hoodwink, man. Y'all, I would not believe that myself if I didn't do it and have it on video insane you don't catch a whole lot of sheep's head on artificials but uh to catch it on, on my own personal lure that's just unreal unreal and that hook is in there good all right dude i appreciate it see ya doggone 20 inch sheep's head right there He's on. There we go. Come here. Feels like a decent trout. Oh, it's a ladyfish. That's why. Ha, ah, you tricked me, dude. Well, that is our third species of the day. Easy release. Come on. 
First a good trout, then a sheep's head, then a ladyfish. What else are we gonna catch today? Unreal, had me thinking I'd hooked a good speckled trout. I'm gonna ease on the inside of these rocks. You got a ton of current. It's just ripping out of here right now. Try to get it here on the calm side. Maybe these trout, redfish are staging up along these rocks. Now he's on, there we go. That's a flounder, that's a flounder. Boom, <laughs> come on dude. Species number four, species number four. Un freaking believable y'all. That's a little guy, but it's still a flounder. Well, dude, you definitely are not big enough to keep, not that we'd be keeping anyways. I wouldn't mind finding that dude's grandma for the tournament though. If we can get on a good flounder bite in here, that would be a really, really good sign that this is where we should fish. It's already starting to be a good day. I'm really leaning towards fishing here tomorrow. I've fished two other areas and I've done okay, but uh, I think this is gonna be the deal. I have a couple of different retrieves that I like to do with this lure. Uh, if I'm fishing close to structure, rock, stuff like that, and I'm looking for redfish or flounder, I'm gonna do kind of like a bump off the bottom, kind of keeping it low, and trying to deflect it off that structure, bounce it all around, stuff like that. But if I'm out here, I'm looking for trout, I'm gonna throw a little bit off of the structure and I wanna swim it by just picking it up, reeling my slack down, picking it up, reeling my slack down. And that has been a killer retrieve for me in the past on catching a, not only a ton of trout, but big trout. A lot of times with speckled trout, especially if they're not in that feeding cycle, they're gonna trail that lure. And the more rhythmic your retrieve is, the longer they're going to trail it, the more likely you're going to get them to strike it. At least that's my theory on it anyways. Oh, something tagged me. He's on. There we go. There's a speckled trout. Just slung my bait off. Alright. Well, definitely not what we'll be looking for tomorrow, but it is a sign of the targeted species out through here see you later dude put another bait on here keep on working down these rocks got this boat that just came up he's fishing this cut up here which is you know i was heading that direction but he beat me to it but i am pre-fishing looks like they're using live bait so i kind of get to sit here and watch maybe see what they pull in with live bait maybe give me some sort of information for tomorrow for me to ease up in here and start off around some of these cuts Oh, he's on. There we go. That's a decent fish. That's a decent one. Oh, what do we got? It's staying down. Ah, foul hook the speck. Well, that's why it felt decent, because I hooked him under the throat. My bad. My bad, dude. Sorry about that. All right, well, that's speckle trout number three. Also, another one that's not going to help us tomorrow. We'll keep on chucking away, see what we can find. I got a feeling we're in a good spot though. He's on. Right there at the boat. There we go. It's another decent trout. Come here, dude. All right. Speckled trout number four. Look at that guy. A little bit more on the skinny side, but still, I man, that's a decent trout right there. Probably sitting right around 17 and a half, 18 inches. We're gonna need some bigger ones tomorrow, but we're just bouncing around from spot to spot right now, trying to uh, just locate some fish. Tomorrow will be a little bit different. I'll spend a little bit more time in the area dissecting it. Maybe throw some other lures like a Miradine if I can get in an area. And I feel like it's holding fish and they're just not committed to the hoodwink. I'll swap profiles, work around, and uh, you know, try to get the biggest fish I can. But for now, it's really all about 
time in the tides, finding schools, kind of seeing what's in the area, what the water clarity looks like, what the bait fish in the area look like. And then tomorrow's just gonna be going at it, trying to put something together. I will talk to y'all real quick while my lure's just sitting out there about the rod that I'm using today. This is a chubby rod, 7.2 medium, fast action. I have been using this rod for the last month and a half, two months, and I absolutely love the rod. They're only 129 bucks, which is awesome. I mean, this rod to me, it feels like a 200 plus dollar rod and it's 100% made in America. It's actually made right down the road in Atmore, Alabama. Ah, oh, lady fish, you son of a gun. Trick me. But yeah, it is uh, American made in Alabama and all the components on this rod are American tackle components. So pretty awesome little rod. He's on. That's a trout. Well, dang, we're starting to find the trout on the lower end of these rocks. There we go. Another solid fish. Come here, dude. Boom. All right, solid fish right there. Another 17, 18 incher. Tomorrow, we're looking for fish that are 23 and a half inches, something around there. Definitely need three fish over 20 inches. It is gonna be very tough. There are some hammers that fished this tournament. Matthew Mitchell, Aaron Clay, a bunch of other people, got people coming out of Louisiana, so gonna be a really tough tournament and we're gonna have to fish lights out good thing is we're on solid fish all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the morning there i don't want to pick this area apart too much i've kind of seen some stuff that i need to see i feel like this is definitely where we're going to come at tomorrow hopefully we'll do well in the tournament i uh, appreciate y'all tuning in if y'all would hit the like button if you like the video comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time